Okay, everyone, we're back up on the roof of the trailer. And what I want to show you is the, the molding where the rubber um, comes over the sidewall and uh, where it terminates at this molding. It was originally sealed with a silicone type of sealant. And you can see all along that ridge, you can see right here, it, it just doesn't stick. See how easy? I just grabbed up my fingernail and pull that right off. There's only one type of material that will stick to rubber, and this is the EPDM rubber we're working with, and that's the Dicor lap sealant. Um, you can also get Dicor and non-leveling sealant as well. But for this application, I'm going to use the Dicor self-leveling um, so it'll get right down in the cracks. So what you want to do as part of your winterizing, weather permitting, you know, you don't want to be up here in the rain and whatnot. But you want to get all this old stuff, get it all dug out of here, you know, full length of the trailer. And once it's all, all wiped down, we'll wipe it down with a solvent, and I'll show you that. And then apply a real nice bead right along that edge. And just pull it along, you know, real nice and real nice like. But there's a lot of controversy, um, at least here, um, on on sealants, and you know they say the proof is in the pudding. Well, there it is, right there. If you don't use the right stuff, it just doesn't stick. And this is a laminated trailer, which they're more susceptible to water leaks. Um, they're harder to fix. So. Uh, I'll show you a quick uh, quick snapshot here, or I guess not a snapshot, I'll just, uh, we'll, we'll go over here. So what you want to use, this is the Dicor Products Lap Sealant Self Leveler, or Self Leveling, sorry. Um, in my head, what I want to say doesn't always transfer out through my, uh, or through my mouth, so you have to, you know, bear with me here. Um, this is a really good product. It's the only product to use on an EPDM roof. Uh, you know, it on the packaging, it will tell you that it sticks. You know, it's flexible design for sealing. Uh, EPDM, rubber, some TPO, fiberglass, wood, aluminum, steel, and masonry. Uh, I don't use it on anything other than EPDM rubber roofs. For aluminum and fiberglass, there is better stuff out there for that that works better. And... To clean it, I use a product, it's Acrosol. It's an automotive style um, surface prep. It doesn't hurt the rubber. Um, it cleans it up really, really well. Um, for you DIYers, there is actually a, uh, Dicor makes a rubber roof seal, or a rubber roof cleaner, and uh, it works really well as, as well. So, also while you're up here, you know, part of your winterizing, or any time of the year, really, if you're up here, you know, check these spots out. Like, see your corners? They're all starting to open up a little bit. So we're going to put a little dab of self-leveling on that. Um, any of your moldings around your vents. Plumbing vents. Like, next thing when it all starts to open up, you know, you got to look after that. Right here. Right We'll clean that all up, cover that. Now this molding here I've already cleaned down the side the whole way down. Okay. And then take a look all around there. And make sure you clean the old stuff. Um, if it's not sealed with the die core and it has this this uh, this stuff right here, you can't put Dicor over that. Well, sorry, you can put it on, but you're just wasting your money and your time because if the base layer won't stick, no matter what you put on the top, it's just going to come right off with it. So you got to get that cleaned up. Spend some time, take pride in your work. Um, you know, if you're not comfortable being up on your roof, you know, 
get someone that you trust to come up here and do it. Um, you know, a reputable, reputable, gee, that's a big word, like marmalade, isn't it? Uh, a good dealer, I guess I should say. And I think they're all good. You know, there's lots of, lots of service guys out there. You know, in our area, there's not too many. There's myself and a few others that go up mobile. But anyways, I thought that would just be a good, uh, RV rescue quick tip. And, uh, There'll be more along this series when uh, we get into doing some more stuff, winterizing and repair work and appliance inspection and repair. We'll do we'll do all kinds of videos. We'll have some fun. Um, you know, my channel is going to be a combination of mostly RV stuff because well, that's what that's my trade, and uh, I think I can do a good service for the YouTube community by putting some repair videos on there and. Uh, but we're also going to do some fun stuff. Uh, look, you're looking at my hand. That's not so fun. Um, this is being shot on a phone too, by the way. Uh, this will be, I guess, film number one. Uh, I'm used to talking to myself in my head, but talking out loud on a camera, I don't think it sounds very good. But if somebody can pick up a tip or two, you know, YouTube has done me a lot of favors over the years on different things. So I think it's time that I uh, repay the favor and hopefully someone gets some use out of it. But anyways. Thanks, friends. Bye for now, and see you on the next one.